You know what Ronaldo really said? What? You don't know that? I, I, no, I don't know. Because you know I'm tight with Ronaldo. I know. I know you are. He sent me a text last night, and he said, this is what I said to Blanc. He said, I'll see you in two years in L.A. <laughs> we may not have a crest or colors or a head coach or a stadium, but we got Ronaldo. That could be enough. It will be enough. After the game, Cristiano Ronaldo went up to Laurent Blanc and put his arm around him and whispered something in his ear with the obvious understanding that he didn't want anybody to read his lips. He wanted that moment because he knows he's lived long enough in this type of spotlight. He wanted that moment to be seen. He wanted it to be talked about, even if he wanted what he said to be private. It was the aesthetic of it and he orchestrated that. Orchestrated? Absolutely. No way, yep. man. Can't you just bump into somebody <laughs> like in that? Like that car or <laughs> this one and the one behind me? When Laurent Blanc was asked what he said, he said, I'm going to keep that private. I'm not going to tell you. This is Ronaldo. You don't want Ronaldo to turn on you. Like, hey, we had a moment, and now you're blabbing it to everybody. You don't think there was anything dark and sinister to it, do you? Well, even if he had said, look, I'm coming to PSG next summer. Keep my uh, spot warm for me. That's not dark and sinister. I would understand why he would not want people reading his lips right. and, and hearing that. What do you think he said? I think he said, we were crap today.